Natalie Gulbis and Paula Kramer are two of the most instantly recognizable faces on the LPGA Tour. Fresh from the Women's British Open, Golfing World joined the American duo as they stepped away from the golf course and embarked on a whirlwind tour of Malaysia. A four-day exploration of the country's natural, cultural and historical highlights. They were making a commercial promoting tourism and the upcoming Saim Derby LPGA Malaysia in October. What we're doing here is shooting a commercial to promote Malaysia as a tourist destination, but also to show how Malaysia is also good for golf. We're showing all the different, all the colour and the vibrancy of the country. Uh, we're going to many different locations, uh, seeing many different people and cultures, uh, and, and showing a little bit of every side. I think. Selamat datang ke Malaysia. Having travelled straight from Karnoosti to Kota Kinabalu in the Malaysian state of Sabah. There was little chance for rest before making an early morning hop to Sandakan to experience the area's vast natural heritage. First stop, Labuk Bay, a monkey sanctuary nestled deep in the rainforest. The week provided a great chance for the two friends to reconnect away from the intensity of competition. It's great. I mean, you, you play golf against each other, you know, every week and, you know, sometimes we've been on, on teams together, but this was really nice to actually do something with, you know, a peer and a friend of mine. And she's a great person to travel with because she loves to experience new things. She's always the, you know, kind of the life of the day and has a, has a great positive energy and that's a really fun type of person to travel with, somebody that's excited to see the culture and experience new things. And, oh, look at this. Let's do this. You know, let's take a picture here. Look at that nose he has. We seem to always get to, to do the adventurous stuff, um, and it's nice to, to be able to get to be with one of your friends in, a, in an amazing country. Whilst the girls enjoyed the sights, it was straight to work for the commercial director, Simon Baker, appreciative of the size of the task ahead. I think there are a number of challenges on a shoot like this. I think that we have gone for a sort of documentary <laughs> approach. Uh, we want to keep it very natural, and I think that there is the challenges involved in that is that because you're not scripting every moment and you're not constructing every moment, uh, that you have to learn to extract what you what you're looking for in, in, in a given scene. You just hold up what you hold up what you've got there, and then when I say action, just bring it down. Well, this is truly a unique experience today here in Malaysia. To, to see the monkeys and to see them in their natural habitat is, is really cool. You know, seeing life as it, as it actually is, it's such a, a vast change from what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. The sanctuary also houses a large population of silverleaf monkeys. But it wasn't just the furry primates that were making a good impression. Well, I think first of all, it's a difficult thing to do if you're not a professional uh, presenter or actor. Uh, and I think that, the, that, that sometimes the hardest thing for people to do is act natural on camera. And I've only been working with them for a short time, but very impressed so far. They're doing a great job. Uh, they're, make, they're easy to work with, which is always good for someone like me because I am, to a certain extent, it's an evolutionary process as you go through, and it's nice to have people that understand that and can work with that. So, uh, you know, so far, really, really good. I'm sure that it will get better as we go on. So I'm very happy. I'm surrounded. <laughs> I can't get out. You know you're supposed to chew like 20 something times or something before you swallow? So this morning we went to Labuk Bay to feed the monkeys and get to watch them and we got to feed them their green beans and actually one held my hand. I had a little seed in my hand and he ate out of it or, or she, I'm not sure, but I also trotted in their pee, um, which is unfortunate, but that's what happens when you're around the monkeys. Um, but it's been an amazing experience. I've never thought I could do this and it, it's been a, a wonderful morning. Sabah also lays claim to the world's largest orangutan sanctuary, the Sepalok Rehabilitation Center. Opened in 1964, over 4,500 hectares of protected virgin jungle provide a rare opportunity to catch a glimpse of the enchanting yet endangered man of the forest. Oh, yeah, look at that one. For the man of the camera, 
the tribulations of capturing every valuable moment were alleviated by travelling light. Well, it's technical limitations, but what you don't often hear about is the how liberating it is for the filmmakers. And when you have a camera that, that enables you to be very light with the crew, enables you to go and capture cutaways and moments that traditionally with a, with a full crew or film, film crew take time. And to most people, it stands right up there in, beside film in most environments. So I think that it's, I am a, I am a great advocate of a camera, but just purely because of how it, it takes you back to the kind of simple approach of filmmaking without all the bells and whistles. Look at the orangutans, it's eating time. Fruit provides the majority of their diet. The centre has daily feedings, catering mainly to the rehabilitated orphans. This is one of the most amazing experiences. Look at this monkey up here. Look at him. <laughs> and with three days still to go, the girls were revelling in their adventure. Well, I'd only seen orangutans in movies and in books, so I was really excited to see them up close. And they're just amazing. I mean, amazing mammals. They, they have a lot of the characteristics that humans do in their hands and the way the mother cradles the baby and the way that they eat. And um, we don't hang like they do, but just it was just really cool to see them and see them in their natural habitat. And I'm glad we got this experience. I love traveling. Um, living out of a suitcase is, is difficult at times, that's for sure, but um, I will always try something once. If I don't like it, that's okay. You know, I tried it and I can kind of, you know, move on from there. But I, that's the great part about culture. You know, it's, it's things like that that you, you, know, you really take and you, you kind of store it in your mind. That's the fun part of, about it. The best things about traveling is every day is interesting. Something happens every day. You're getting to see the world. You know, you're getting to see it up close and personal. I've traveled to probably 30 different countries and see places that I never imagined I'd be able to see. And then you have these life experiences where just moments happen because you're in a different spot. Join Golfing World tomorrow for the conclusion of the girls' Malaysian journey. <laughs>